So, yes, I'm crying. Um, so, I've been sitting here. I doubt that this video will make it to YouTube because <laughs> despite what it may seem like, I'm a pretty private person um, when it comes to like emotions and stuff. <clears throat> but um, <sighs> tonight I've been, um, well, my mom's birthday is coming up in a few days. And, um, I've been putting together a birthday party. She's turning 80. And so I really want it to be special for her because it's a special birthday. And, um, I decided that I would put together, um, a nice slideshow to play at the party. So I've been sitting here for the past few hours, um, going through, uh, old pictures which I have tons of because I've always been huge into taking pictures, but I'll, for the past three years I've been um, working as a professional photographer. And, um, you know, that's one of the things that I love about photography is that it's so important. It just, it captures your whole life. Um, and it takes you back to things that you completely had forgotten about and so anyway um it's always kind of bittersweet because as you look back and see um just the passage of time and how quick it goes and the things that you have forgotten all about and um just seeing your kids as babies and little and my um oldest son is 12 he'll be 13 in may and then i have an eight year old and uh, my daughter is three she'll be four at the end of next month and um i'm i've only made it i started my pictures on this computer start at 2000 and uh I've made it up to 2007 and just so you have an idea I have thousands tens of thousands of pictures on this computer because I I pretty much have a camera as an appendage I always am taking pictures and um, I don't know it just made me cry happy tears and sad tears like bittersweet tears as I look at everything that I've done um, and just seeing the different phases that my kids have gone through and the different homes we've lived in, the different places we've gone and how they've changed over time and it just really, um, it kind of hit me because it's been kind of heavy on me the past couple days that um, I'm going through a huge life transition right now. Um, not just with the surgery. Because, um, you know, it's funny as I look at the pictures and see my weight kind of go up and down, more up and down since I started having kids. And just thinking like the struggles that I've had um, over the past, well, really, like pretty much my whole life. But not like seriously until after I got married, which was in 2000. And um, it's like dawning on me that, you know, that struggle, while it'll still be around because it's something that you still have to work for, it's like I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. And um, it's kind of like blows my mind that um, I might actually get the opportunity to be happy with my weight, which I haven't been in, I can't even remember. I think 
think I, even when I wasn't fat, I felt fat. But, um, the other thing that's been weighing really heavy on me is, um, I think I had mentioned in my other video that I was waiting to hear about this job and I found out two days ago that I actually did get the job and um, I'm really happy about it because I really wanted it and um, but at the same time it's like this huge huge change for myself and my family because really for the better part of 12 years I've been a stay-at-home mom and um, you know, I realize that some people are very career oriented and some people are very family oriented. And um, I definitely fall into the second category more so than the first. Um, it was very important to me. Um, even before I started having kids, I knew that I would want to be there to witness every moment and to be there for every moment. And and it was always my plan to stay home and raise my kids. And, um, you know, I've worked a couple times um, over the past 12 years I went back to work when my oldest son was about two for about a year and uh, and then oh, maybe two years uh, about two years and then um, when my second son I stopped working right before my second son was born and uh, and then I haven't really worked since then except for my freelance stuff. Um, I did go to school for four years, which was uh, somewhat comparable to having a full-time job, if not more time-consuming. But the difference was I was able to be there still. I was home with my kids. I was going to their field trips and volunteering in their classroom and you know, doing all that mommy stuff and spending that quality time during the day. And, um, you know, it's like the end of an era. Tomorrow is Friday and it is literally my last day as a stay-at-home mom. And it's kind of scary and it's kind of sad. You know, I think about how much I enjoy um, the days when my kids are off school and um, how much I enjoy summer when they're home from school all day and we can go on all of our little adventures. Um, so yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, but I feel so immensely blessed to have been able to do this for as long as I have. And, um, you know, it hasn't been easy. It's been a struggle. I mean, financially it's been a struggle to be five people on one income. Um, physically, it's been hard because anyone who's raised kids knows that it's not like a walk in the park. It's difficult, but I find so much joy in the chaos and, um, in the struggles and the ups and downs of all of it. I love every minute of it. Even when I'm miserable, I'm happy. <laughs> um, so... I guess it's just all kind of hitting me at once tonight, especially with looking back on the pictures and stuff that I'm going through a huge life change. Um, I'm turning 40 <laughs> in a couple months, which just sounds absolutely crazy to me. Um, I'm starting a new career. I'm losing potentially hopefully um over 160 pounds I've already lost over 60 um before the surgery I lost about 60 and uh it's just really all kind of hitting me tonight so I just wanted to make a video about it whether I post it or not I'm not sure but I just really needed to to get it out and um just a flood of emotions so if I do post this <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and um, don't make fun of me too bad for being a big blubbery baby <laughs> thanks